Hello, I'm Jeremy, Cloud Architect with AWS Professional Services here in Houston. Today, I'll show you how to resolve the issue when you can't access your Amazon Simple Storage Service Bucket because your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud or Amazon VPC Endpoint ID is wrong. Let's get started. To resolve this issue, you must log in using the Amazon Account Root User Credentials. Even though it's a best practice to avoid using the root user, this issue is one of the few times where it's required. First, open the AWS Management Console and log in with your root user account. Then, navigate to the S3 console. Select the bucket in question. Then, navigate to Permissions. You'll receive an error, but as root user, you'll be allowed to delete the policy. It's best practice to stop at this point to copy the existing policy to a safe place before you delete. After you've copied the policy to a safe place, select Delete to delete the policy. Refresh the web page to see that the changes have taken effect. You'll see that instead of errors regarding permissions, you once more have access to the settings. Removing the policy removes the restrictions and the policy associated with VPC or VPC endpoints. To resolve from the AWS command line interface, you must use the root user access key. Note that it's best practice to not leave this key in place after resolution. Also note that if you don't already have root access keys created, you must log in to the AWS Management Console to generate an access key for the root user account. First, configure the CLI for root access. Next, verify the issue by running a bucket list command and verifying the error that is returned is access denied. Now use the AWS S3 API get bucket policy command to copy the policy. Then delete the bucket policy using the delete bucket policy command. Verify that the policy was removed by running the bucket list command again. This time you'll see the output from the command instead of an access denied error message. Immediately following the successful deletion of the bucket policy, delete the access key for the root user. So now you know how to resolve the issue when you can't access your S3 bucket because your VPC or VPC endpoint ID is wrong. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.